The Brilliant Illusion God created the universe as a playground to know itself. To taste experience, it must have contrast, and that requires time and space, which in turn creates the possibility of manifestations and the illusion of separation. In this way, it could experience itself manifested in infinite yet temporary expressions from a soap bubble to a galaxy, because its creations were made out of itself, and it stepped into each one as they manifested. In this way, one became many, yet still one, until it decided to forget who it was. It's like going to a movie without reading the book first. The experience is more intense when it's always the first time, and has no reference point like the awareness that it's not real. This allowed God, which is pure conscious awareness, to believe it was limited, imperfect, perishable, flawed, unsafe, and unworthy and a host of other beliefs that spiraled out of these false beliefs over the eons of the time and space illusion. How brilliant is that illusion, that dream? It's so brilliant that if it were not for the divine discontent, it could have become trapped in the illusion eternally, but the nagging urge to look beneath the surface appearance of the illusion was always there, and as the illusion got more and more uncomfortable, the nagging got louder and more painful. We are that God. The God, the One, apparently many, and yet still one. And many have reached that breaking point where the discontent and the pain it brings with it is so severe that we cannot but go within, go beneath and search for the truth. That's what's happening today, within the chaos, the disorder, the decay that we see everywhere. God, One, us, has had enough of the illusionary playground in a state of unconscious awareness and is remembering who it is. Sure, it's painful. The very discontent is what's waking us up. It's a beautiful agony as more and more discover who they are, and yet remain within the dream, the illusion, free and awake.